hi everyone welcome to my channel today i decided that i'm just going to film myself doing some makeup i always find that the best makeup i come up with is usually during the night uh, when i'm bored and i have nothing to do so now it's uh, about uh, half past 11 and yeah i decided to put on some makeup just to remove it <laughs> when i'm done so yeah i'm just chilling here i'm this is my painting shirt so going nowhere <laughs> yeah let's get started so i just put my hair up to make everything easier and i was thinking that i really wanted to try that uh, trend that was actually sent to me by someone on instagram and i'll put her name in the description and it's that trend where you stick on your lashes higher and then you fill the gap with eyeliner and it's supposed to give you that fox eye look so since we're not going anywhere i figured why not try it now so i'm quickly just gonna clean my face with the bioderma micellar water By the way, if my eyes look weird, it's because now I'm staring at the camera, but here I'm looking at myself. I'm uh, filming on the selfie camera of my phone. <laughs> I just thought it was easier because the last video I filmed was filmed on the back camera and it was so complicated to see what I was doing and if I was in focus and in the center of the frame so i thought i'd just try this now that i've cleaned my face i'm going to use a primer it's a glowy primer and it's uh, unfortunately discontinued you can't buy it anymore and honestly i'm not in love with it i just want to finish my bottle of it it's the estee edit flash illuminator i'm almost done so i'm just applying some really everywhere i don't really care it's not that intense under my foundation but it does give me a subtle glow see the glow so now for foundation i'm going to use the nyx born to glow foundation this is the shade 07 natural and this is a darker shade for me as you can see uh, i have fake tan on so my body is darker than my face the point here is to match my face to my body really so i'm just applying this everywhere And this is a really, really nice foundation. I just wish I bought my shade, my pale shade, I mean, because I bought this online and it's really hard to pick your shade online. Now I'm taking my sponge and pushing the product into my skin. Now I'm going to fill in my brows with the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder. It comes with two shades and I use the darker one the most. So I know you might think it's weird that I'm doing my brows before my concealer, but I normally just do that because I like to clean up my brows with the concealer when I'm done with them. And just filling in the gaps and mainly my arch. That's all I do for my brows. Now for concealer, I'm using the Samoa Matte Skin Envy 12 Hour Wear Concealer and I'm going to do this under my eyes or really in the inner corner of my eyes. Really where my darkness is and then right here to lift.
under my nostrils and next to my lips to lift them as well and down the middle of my chin. I also sometimes add some on my cheek just to hide my redness a little more and now it's time to blend with the same sponge I blended my foundation with. So I keep everything related to my eyes till last. And you really never want to swipe because then you'll start to move your concealer and foundation and your skin will start showing and all the work you did to try to hide your imperfections or your blemishes they're really not imperfections <laughs> it's normal that was the wrong word to use but then everything will show again and everything you tried to hide will be back now I'm taking some of that same concealer on a little concealer brush and I'm going to clean up the edges of my brows and blend the concealer out. Next, I'm going to set my face with the MAC Light Plus Mineralized Skin Finish in Natural. Sorry, I just cleaned it. <laughs> Ooh. That's really powdery. And I'm just going to apply some of that under my eyes. Always patting, never swiping. Once you have enough powder on your face, then you can start to swipe if you like to swipe, if you find it easier, because then you'll have enough powder on the cream so that the creams won't move. And to set my face, I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Powder Foundation. And I'm patting that all over the rest of my face without really getting too close to my under eyes because I've already applied powder there and we don't want that to get too powdery. Next, I'm going to add some contour to my cheeks and I'm using the Dali Contouring Powder Palette. This is what it looks like. And I'm going to take this shade right here really look at where the shadows are so right here and at that same on the other side Add some under my lip to make it bigger, even over my lip, just a little bit. I didn't add any powder for that. And some on my forehead. And I'm going to blend everything really, really well after I've applied it. Just keep blending until your arms hurt. And now I'm going to use the same bronzer with a smaller brush to contour my nose. Just a tiny little bit. I don't really change the shape of my nose. I just like something on there. And I'll go back to my powder brush without adding any powder on it, just using the leftovers on it and just blend my nose 
in. Now for bronzer, I'm going to use the same Dali palette, just the middle shade, this shade right here. And I'm going to put some all over my forehead. Really get into that hairline. My cheeks. I like to bring the bronzer in towards my nose. And I'll always add some on my double chin. If you know me, you know this is a really problematic area for me. And if you follow me on my personal Instagram account, um, yesterday I was playing around with that um, fortune cookie filter. <laughs> it kept, like the filter kept telling me Cute double chin. Well, thanks. Not my idea of fun or a compliment. Next, I really want to bake under my contour to clean everything up. So I'm going to use the Samoa Matte Skin and V Setting Powder. It's just a really good and affordable loose powder that you can use or that you can find here in Lebanon. Same on the other side. And while I'm doing this, I'm just going to add some to the sides of my nose, but I won't leave those for long. And right here to add more lift to my eyes. And now it's time to start with the eyes. So first I'm going to add a little bit of concealer to my lids and blend them out just to cancel the redness or veins that I might have. I'm looking at my mirror, by the way. <laughs> to set that concealer on my eyelids, I'm using the shade Tempera from the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. This is it on a fluffy brush. And just swiping it all over. Now I'm going to quickly take off that bake around my nose and on the sides of my eyes so that it doesn't get too harsh. So like I said before, I really want to try that eyelash and eyeliner trick, but I really want to add some color to the eye. And I have this palette, the Anastasia Norvina Volume 2 palette that I've never tried before. And I really want to try something from it. So I'm going to be using the shade B2, the shade right here. Wait. This purple right here. And really just see if it's a good palette or not so i took that color and i'm going to add some to my inner corners and outer corners yeah i really should have baked my under eyes for this is there fallout oh no and same on the other eye i really like to do the same step on both eyes at the same time 
so that I don't forget a step. I think this is cute for now, so I'm going to take a fluffier brush and blend the edges a little. So I'm using the shade Tempera from the Anastasia Soft Glam palette, the one we used to blend or set our concealer on our lids to really blend everything out. So I'm going to leave the inner corners alone for now and I'm going to try to map out where I'm supposed to stick the eyelash since, since it's not going to be on my lashes or on my lash line so that I know where to put the color on I guess. So what I'm going to do for my eyes since I have hooded eyes is that see where that crease ends right here I'm going to draw a line, tiny line. And that is where I'm going to stick the lash. I'm not gonna stick the lash, or at least I'm gonna try to not stick the lash on my crease so that it doesn't move when I open and close my eyes. So see those lines? Those tiny, tiny lines? That is what's going to tell me where to add that blue now. And I'm going to add the blue above them. So I have some blue. So I'm adding the color a tiny bit at a time so that I don't mess it up. And if you get any color transfer here, it's fine because you're going to cover everything up with the eyeliner. That is if you try that trick. I'm focusing the color on the outer part of my eye to lift, of course. This is the brush that I blended the blue with before and just a quick blend above everything. So now it's time to get rid of that bake. And when it's really harsh, what I like to do is just buff it all into my bronzer. and it'll look cleaner and get rid of the line. Now, before I add mascara and eyeliner, I wanna make sure that I set my face and get rid of that powderiness. So I'm using the Mario Badescu Rose Water Facial Spray, and I push that setting spray into my skin with my sponge so that nothing runs. And I also love doing that to flatten my facial hairs. Let's be real, everyone has facial hair, so that will help it a little bit. It will not make it disappear, just so you know. So now I'm not really sure if I'm supposed to add the mascara to my normal lashes, but I'm going to do it anyway so that they're black. I think if I leave them brown, they're going to look grayish against the liner. So I'm going to use the Benefit Bad Gal Bang Mascara. It's one of my favorites. So I'm adding a tiny bit just to turn them black. While my glue gets tackier on the lashes, I'm going to highlight and I'm using the NYX Born to Glow Highlighting Palette. I'm going to take the white shade and mix it with that pink one. I normally do cheeks, temples, and take a little brush, tip of the nose, inner corners, brow bone, and lip. So for blush, I'm using this Samoa one. It's number six reset and it looks like this because I got it for free. 
and I'm using a brush, of course, and adding it on the tops of my cheeks to add to the lift. So now's the time to stick the lash. <laughs> and I've been trying for the last five minutes and it's not working. So I'm going to use my mirror and I'm sorry if it's annoying. <laughs> I guess I'm going to add the inner part to like around half of my eye. And plop it there. Going to make sure it's sticking. Wow. Now let's do the other eye with my non dominant hand. It's stuck to my finger, to my nail. Ugh. It was stuck on my eye and then my nail removed it. <sighs> okay, okay. All right, so I guess that's the best we can do. I'm scared of touching them. So for the liner, I'm using the NYX Epic Ink liner. And I'm just going to fill in the gap with the liner, I guess. Just kidding, I'm not gonna scare the lashes. They're actually scaring me. So I'm going to use the Samoa Ola Lash Maximize Mascara and just add some to my normal lashes, my natural lashes, because I feel like they're a bit gray. Add some on the wow, this is weird. And I guess I'll add a little bit of Benefit Bad Gal Bang to my lower lashes. <sighs> Almost stabbed myself in the eye. Now I'm going to add some eyebrow gel to my brows, and I'm using the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara in Espresso. I like this a lot. This is my third tube. It adds a little bit of color, a little bit of depth. It keeps them in place. What is this? Wait, what is that? Stop drooping, Lash. And I brush them. And then shape them. So I started to line my lips with the Rimmel London um, Exaggerate Full Color Lip Liner in the shade number 8 Addiction. But 
I broke it. So I'm going to use the NYX lip pencil in the shade Nude Truffle instead. And this is what the lip liner looks like. And I'm going to add some lip gloss on top. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fenty Glow Gloss Wand. And to finish off the look, I just took a little brown shadow under my eyes, just on the outer part. And I used burnt orange, this shade right here from the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. So this is the final look, guys. And you know what? I like it. I feel like from afar, or maybe in the dark, it would look better. Just because I feel like now I can see my natural lashes. But in the dark, you wouldn't be able to see them. Yeah, I like it. It's different. And I feel like it does give me a lift. Right? I like it. And the blue adds a lot. I feel like it would be very boring without the blue. I love the blue. So before you leave, don't forget to like and comment on this video. Of course, it would help a lot. And subscribe to this channel. Bye. Next for foundation. Hold that thought, I need to brush my eyebrows. What am I doing? What am I doing?